It's your girl, Mickey, 360 Radio, Connected Radio, the Yee area. You can kind of see your placement up there on the screen. Uh, much love. We got Solo C in the building. Hey. This is the winner of the Noble Cinema Open Mic. Um, this was by vote. So it was a vote that they did on the internet. Um, everyone in the building voted. And then you also were able to send that to people to vote as well, correct? Yep. yep. How'd you get to meet Nob? How'd you get signed up for that? Man, uh, I've been uh, peeping his Instagram for a minute, you know. And um, I seen that he was doing a little cypher, a little, little uh, get together. Well, we won't oh. charge you yet because I didn't explain it. So. Okay, my bad, my bad. Little, yeah. it's a big cypher. Yep, that's why. It is. That's why. Yeah, it's a yeah, big yeah. cypher. So anything you talk about in here, you have to say big. You can, you just can't use the L word. Okay. Um, even if it doesn't really apply to this situation, yeah, you just we don't use that word in here. So small. Um, miniature shit like that right, but definitely. this is the the idea is we all say way too much my I, I dropped this little EP or I did this little video shoot and it's like those are actually really big that's a big accomplishment that's right yeah. so you want right. to train your brain right that's right hell yeah I like solo that. C's on deck with the nice. with the big little jar yeah got you now, now, <laughs> now I'm locked in now, I'm now locked you're in. locked in yeah, so yeah, where are yeah. you from I'm um, from the barrier, you know, grew up a little bit everywhere. Everywhere. Richmond, you know, uh, right there a little bit. Um, ran a little bit of uh, Vallejo. A, a lot, lot bit. Yeah, yeah. That's You got that uh, L word in your vocab. Yeah, so. I definitely do. I definitely do. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. We're not going to hit you too hard with yeah, it. Yeah, no, so. yeah. So, so, so I need Richmond. To be smooth. Yeah, Richmond. Um, look, man, really, uh, so my childhood, I grew up in Richmond, mm -hmm. you know, and then right there, navigated a little bit, center fell. Yeah. Um, Terra Linda, you know, a uh, little bit Vallejo, right, right there in um, Oakland town, you know, um, all all around the bay. So, How you did know, you get started in music? Um, music's always been a part of my my life, you know. Um, my mom always listened to Tupac, a lot of old school, you know. Oh, yeah, cool and, mom. Uh, yo, yeah, my mom, she was dope, she was dope. Um, yeah, I got into it when I was about like eight years old, I was in third grade. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was listening to Tupac, um, that one song called Dear Mama, yeah, by Tupac, and that really hit me. I really um could relate to the whole situation grew up with no father you know uh mom 17 years old kicked out on the street right very you know what similar, i mean like yeah. a little very similar you know like mm -hmm. that's my life story and i was young and it just it hit me i'm like you know everything he's talking about so what i'm going through right now is a young individual that's you know going through all these situations in his life and i just navigated towards music how to express myself and my feelings and right. you know it's the best way i feel like i was able to express how i felt that's you know dope. music and it just I'm the only one in my family does it, you know, and um, you know, it just it's part of my life, you know. Yeah. I listen to music every day. I work out, cook, whatever. Probably whatever I'm changes doing. your whole mood. Yeah, no, nah, it definitely mm -hmm. does. Music uh, definitely revolves around my life. Yeah. On a daily basis. Yeah. So as far as your influences, obviously we say that um, Pac was one of them. Oh yeah. Who would you say? Who else were you listening to when Man, you started Tupac, making Snoop music? Man, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Biggie. Like I really grew up on an old school, you know. Now. I listen to a lot of like you know a lot of a LA artists like G Perico you know Sean mm -hmm. Mafia you know uh, Sad Boy Loco you know from Santa Barbara like a lot a lot of artists in the Bay though specifically like E Forty you know you got Bernie you got Jay Sterling you got Mr Fab mm -hmm. you know what I mean you got what well, S O B when it was coming mm -hmm. up you got man you got a lot of like like origin that came right in the Bay you right. know what I mean so that's too short can't forget it. too short you feel the me big yeah like you know what I mean yeah. like I really grew up on all that old school you know what I mean so. Yeah, a little bit of everything, you know. We sure. um, also, we have interviewed Trilliano several times here. So Shoreline, he's brought, you know, part of Shoreline. D Savage came one time. Like Probably. We were able to interview some L.A. artists here as well because of some connections. So That's I've right. been following some of their careers for a long time. So shout out to the to the guys down south. Um, I like to go sure. down there and go to shows occasionally too. Yeah. Greedo, you know, shows like that. So um, I think we have that in common. And as far as your beats, your sound, how do you pick the beats that you rap on? Do you have Man, a, a method? So, yeah, usually. So my boy, um, shout out to my boy Zorin. My boy be coming up with some dope beats, and I'll hit him, and you send me back some dope-ass beats, and I'll listen to them. And shout out to um, this other, I think, producer, like T-Pain Beats or something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, I'll be searching up, like, little, like, uh, these beats, and I have to feel it, you know, if uh, in that moment. You know how the beat, how I feel. I gotta really vibe with the beat, and I really just go with the flow. Like the first bar on my mind, like boom, it's like a first freestyle. How I'm feeling, boom, put it down. 
I'll write from there that first two bars. From there, boom, I'm going. That's a song. Then write a chorus. Boom, done. It just depends on how I feel and how that beat made me feel. I can go high for you. I can make you talk about my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? A little bit of everything. You, you know? got it so, in you for sure. Yeah, not nah, for sure. You know, and you, so. do you, you write? Obviously, you write. But do you um, freestyle as well? Yeah, so... Growing like at up, your open mic, were you freestyle or Yeah, no, I was a freestyle. So I like, yeah, so. yeah, that was a freestyle right there. And then when I performed, that was some songs I had like prior to then. Now my new songs I'm working on are banging. You know what I mean? All my songs be banging. But mm -hmm. as an artist, I feel like each song got to be better than my last. You know what Absolutely. I mean? So that's why I feel like, should be. yeah, like development. You know, each song is hard, but each one got to go better than the last one. You know? So yeah. Let's talk about this text song that we're gonna go into. Yeah, check it out. Check it what's out. What's the What's the story behind it? What's it about? Uh, so man, just you know, uh, talking about you know, uh, like shit. the tech night. Yeah, nah, like the tech <laughs> night. Like we got text, we got glass. You know, okay. like you say you want beef, you know, out to drop. You know, like just talking about. Did I hear this little, at your show? Yeah, yeah, that was one of my songs. Yes, yeah, I thought yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dope. Well, let's go into that. This is uh, Solo C. This is the winner of the Noble Open Mic. Feel me fucking around, though, huh? I like how you dance on that beat. It's real nice. You got to. You know, um, it's very, uh, you got a very airy flow. Like, you dance around on I like that. You're not really settled in any pockets or sounds. It's yeah. just you're all over that beat. Yeah. And I like that. Um, I like the way that it sounds, and I like the way your voice rolls too, like the sound of your voice. Right. So um, I, I dig it. Like I dug it from the first night I heard it at the open mic. Yeah, right on, right on. Um, do sure. you have projects out? What do you have out for people to buy, and where are they? So right now I'm working on a whole, a whole project. Like you told me, no L's. You know, right. we're working on big projects. Big projects. Yeah. So you know, I'm working on a project right now called Writing Solo. Right now, you can find my music on YouTube as of right now. I'm working on getting it on Spotify, a little bit on everything, just trying to get all the uh, the legal beat rights, you know what I mean, to mm -hmm. a few of my songs. But uh, as of as of right now, you know, find my music on YouTube, you know. Um, I got to have my songs coming out soon. I'm just working on just getting all this all situated. And um, But I got a lot of unreleased music about to drop. I got okay. videos. I got... I got some big things in the work, you know what I mean? So, Who shoots your videos for you? So one of my boy Diego, right now he's uh working on a little situation that he got going on. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now I got a few other um cameramen tapping on my my peoples, you know, just trying to find a legit one right now, you know what I mean? But uh, I got a few, you know what I mean? Just uh, more of a finding the right time, winning how to do it right. You okay. Know? So. Have you ever had a radio interview? Have you ever done this? Uh, I think back in the day, maybe with uh, it was called Hip Hop for Change with that boy Coffre, mm -hmm. Coffre right there, and I think Oakland. Yeah, I've I think I was younger. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was younger. I did that. I did a little studio session with them. And it was Big tight. studio session. Yeah. See, you've been I doing keep, this keep, forever, yeah, right? I, yeah, I've been. Yeah, so I keep getting with them. It's all right. It's not. It's not even offensive to <sighs> yeah. me. It's so that you know. Yeah, no, for sure. What you're doing is not little. Yeah, no, for sure. Really big, right? No, yeah, that's right. That's right. Real big. That's right. Um, so you've been obviously if you've done interviews like in Oakland when you were younger, you been doing this for a while so um how old are you do you mind me asking i'm 24 24 years old yeah. so i would say uh who are you who else are you slapping in your car right now or on your phone what do you listen to other than yourself do you yeah you know i listen to uh listen to i think you said g perico yeah g perico but i listen to uh Chitoranas too you know i know if you're a sacramento artist you uh, from out here you're going crazy you no know? i need to check that out yeah send I, me all that information you know i definitely say he's hard uh Chitoranas, i listen to uh so money signs sway. I don't know if you heard of him. You know, yes, from LA. You know, he go crazy. He yes. go crazy. Um, listen to uh, man. Uh, it depends on days on how I'm feeling. Like some days in the morning, I wake up and I put some Bob Marley. You know, uh, right. It depends how I feel. You know, uh, a lot of West Coast. You know, um, I say as of right now. You know, um, Bravo, Bravo, Little Bag Chase from LA mm -hmm. too. You know, uh, from. Oh, I'll be listening to uh, that boy Kai Benz be going crazy. Kai Benz, too. Yeah, yeah, Kai Benz be going exactly crazy. DB about a bag, too. DB, you know what I mean? Yes, he the be bad doing, guy. Yeah, yeah, he be doing his thing. CML, too. Shout out CML. I love CML. Yeah, that boy go hard. That, this is the yeah. CML tattoo. Speak my mind. That's oh, yeah. Cool. Let me speak my mind. Oh, fucking so right. kind. Yeah, that shit be going crazy. Super yeah. dope. Oh, that's um, hard. Okay. When uh, DB, when I was going to interview DB, you're still catting, DB. You need to get in here. But Man. when I was going to interview him, I was like, you can smoke in there. And he goes, we don't smoke, we clock. And I was like, what? And I hadn't really listened to his music yet, so I had to go listen to it to understand 
what he was telling me, which is smoking is clocking. So. Yeah, yeah, my little youngster used to be saying that too. I'm like, oh, I'm from the clock. I'm like, oh, big shit, shout out to uh, uh, to DB about a bag. He's hey, definitely yeah. putting in work, you know, like crazy. Um, yeah, that boy going crazy. Stunna you Man listen too? to any? Oh, Stunna Man yeah, is Stunna Man going crazy. Yeah, definitely with the shit. Oh, La Russell too though. That hey, shout out to La Russell for real, for real. That'd be dope to have him on a little. So I go up on his stage right there in the backyard, do a little performance. That'd big performance. Hey, yeah, big performance. Right. That's right. I, yeah, I gotta get that moment. La line. Russell, hey. good company. They're uh, they're actually doing a show at the fairgrounds, Solano Fairgrounds. So oh, yeah. Yeah, people are gonna be able to go watch him at the fairgrounds. I'm actually sending this to Nobi right now. This is for Nobi right here. Hey. See, we got him in the building. Penny, man. Do you still compete in the open mics after you've won? Do you still oh, go yeah. back? So, so um, I was supposed to go. I think last last Friday, but I had a situation that I couldn't make it for some reason, you okay. know. So I had to attend other uh, another another place at the moment. But uh, I did reach out to him. And I'm definitely gonna go back and um, do my thing again, man. That place is a uh, place is tight. It is. Energy's dope. Yes. A lot of dope artists, you know. I'm like this tight, you know. You get to it work is. with people. It's you a know. perfect place for an open mic. The energy's right for that there. Oh, uh, it's tight. It's tight. Um, do you listen to any podcasts? Do you have any other podcasts that you listen to? Because we like to shout them out if you do. Oh, yeah. I'd be listening to uh, Fig Community. Fig Community. Uh, yeah, that'd be going hard. Uh, mm-hmm. That boy Duno, Duno World, you know what? Uh, be, I forgot his uh, podcast, but he do be going crazy, though. Okay. Uh, he's from L.A. Shout out Duno. And these are, are they music? Um, not nah, so. Oh, you yeah, know, no, big community. Yeah. It's like AD and like a few other people, and like uh, they have like this podcast, and they do. I know the they took that on tour, I believe. Yeah, and it something was in like the that. Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now nah, we it was cool. It was cool. Uh, man, I'm trying to think. Uh, as a top of my mind right now, I can't really think too. It's all good. You know, but. what would you spend ten thousand on if you had it to invest in your music career right now, this moment? Ten bands. What I'll invest. Ten to ten bands extra. If I had 10 minutes extra right now on top of what I'm doing, I think I'll invest that into uh, my music, Mm -hmm. you know, music videos, buying beats, you know, uh, just promoting myself, promotion, you know, marketing, you know, um, doing a little bit, yeah, doing a little bit of all of that, you know. We definitely want promotion. Merch, you know what I mean? I'm working, I'm already working on my merch. I was going to come today, but it didn't come in, it didn't come in, it it wasn't ready for for me. It's another reason for you to bring it back. Just come back and see me and bring me a shirt. Oh, I got you. That's all you got to do. I got you. Oh, for sure. Um, As far as, we were just talking about the, you would spend it on promotion. Yeah. So, um, live (laughs) shows coming up. Do you have anything you're performing at? In the in the near future, yes, actually, I'm gonna be performing at Coast to Coast. That's actually November eighth. It's um, it's this competition I'm competing for fifty thousand dollars. Oh, I've seen. Yeah, this. I was in Coast to Coast right there in Oakland, in the town, and I got to perform, and I made it to the next round. And the top first five people uh, that won that 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 competition get to go to Miami and compete for fifty thousand dollars and get a uh, I think like a year deal. Come and on. a contract, yeah. you know what I mean? So I'm working on that. I beat that last one, so now I'm just more focusing on this one, working on new songs, get my merch, go up there and work on my my English and Spanish songs that I'm working on right now. Okay, because, do, you, you know, do you do both? Yeah, I'm half Mexican, half Italian. You know I have I mean? a, uh, that's a great mix. I'm a, I'm Italian too. Hey. I have a female artist too from actually Modesto who does both Spanish and English as well. She's oh, a rapper. Oh, yeah, I'll hard. have to put you with her. Oh, no, for sure, most definitely. Uh, yeah. Her name is Lamona and she's super dope. She's been in here before. Okay. Um, she kind of flows on in and out of the Spanish as well. Um, and I just find that so dope to me. Like I couldn't do that if I, ha- if someone had a gun to my head but <laughs> she did it really well um you have any advice for the younger artists out there that may be listening that may be f- like frustrated or feel like giving up what's what do you tell them what's your word of man, advice man uh, i'll say this keep chasing your dream you know don't give up um no matter what's going on you know believe in yourself even nobody believes in you you know um you are your biggest supporter and you have you at the end of the day and regardless of the outcome don't give up you know one day at a time. It might not happen today. It might not happen tomorrow. It might be weeks, months, years, but it's going to happen. Absolutely. You know? And with that being said, I have um, an announcement. So today I was nominated for a GERD award. Hey. GERD. And that is actually, uh, this is their 11th year of giving awards out. They go out on this really nice yacht. Um, Hennessy, my one of my other radio mates here, has been there before. He's, I believe, he's won the GERD Award, oh, so cool. for Top Shelf Radio. So they have nominated Connected Radio. It's up for Best Radio Show. Hey. So hey, hey do, 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 go. Go. we're gonna make. Sure, I don't know if there's a voting process in that or if they decide internally. But shout out to Ren the Heat Monster. He's the one who put my name in their ear, hmm. um, and that was. Uh, 
that was C. Lim and uh, uh, Nesbitt, Le uh, I don't know his full name, but he put me on, and thank you, because they put me in the competition, and now I have a chance to win and be seen. Um, and I'm in, hey. the, I'm in the category with people like... Um, like he also nominated Gary Archer for music management. He nominated um, Dregs One for History of the Bay podcast. You know, like so oh, we're yeah, up there with the big, right. oh, the big, yeah, big yeah, podcast. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, that's, yeah, oh, that's, that's it. tight. Hey, congrats. Thank hey. you. So we'll be um, seeing how that goes, and we'll be you know going out there on the GERD Awards. So I'm probably be taking um, Peter here with me, Sackboy nine one six Sackboy. But yeah, we're gonna get into your second song. Um, Eddie's gonna spin it in. So let them know what the name of it is and something about it. All right, it's called um, uh, Baby I'm Back. It's a little remix, you know, a big remix. Uh, yeah, you know, a big remix. That's right. That's why you keep giving me on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna be, be broke by someone. See, it I was got gifted here. to you, but I'm gonna hit you <laughs> on the on the back yeah, end. Got no, me, got kidding. me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> got me, got me. That's right, girl. That's right. Uh, it's called Baby I'm Back. It's a remix of uh, you know the Baby Bash. Uh, Baby I'm Back. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. Baby I'm Back. Mm -hmm. So oh, mine, so mine, mine's mine's different. You know, it's a. Yeah, it's a remix of it, and it's 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 hard. It's unreleased. I'm actually breaking on getting a whole production for this. You know, I got some I got some females that's gonna be in there. I got some actresses. Uh, I got a whole scene I want to do, and it's gonna be my vision how I want it. Every video I've ever done has been by you know how I just Your my design. vision, yeah, yeah, my vision how I feel like. Hey, do this. So obviously the videographer's gonna tell me, hey, this looks hard. This doesn't look hard. Yeah, I'm like, all right, my input on this, this, and. You know, team make the dream work. You feel me? But Absolutely. I'm working on working on this. Baby, I'm back and uh, check it out. It's unreleased. You know? Baby, I'm back. It sounds good. Um, do, as far as this is your exit, so um, do you want? Is there anyone you want to thank? Anyone you want to plug? This is your time. Um, any any YouTube's you want to shout out? How they find you? Where your social sites? All the shit. All the stuff. Now for sure, I just want to say a big shout out to uh, Noble Cinema. You know what I mean? My boy really got me right here doing this. You know what I mean? And uh, just shout out to everybody that supported me through this journey. Um, and as well, if you find my music, search me up on Instagram at Yen Solo C. Um, YouTube, my links right there has all my music. You know, and uh, be on the lookout for all my unreleased music I got coming. And uh, big things coming, right? Absolutely. Not little things, big you'll, things. You'll remember us. Yeah, nah, for sure. From that. Oh yeah. Every most, time you say the L word, most now. I'm like, hold up, I'll get that. Because right. your friend, or not even your friend, some stranger could walk up to you and be like, oh, you was out there doing that little rap shit, yeah, and it's that's like, right. no, that's yeah, shade. Yeah, that's like, right. That's right. It's big. It's big. It's big. That's right. It's not. That's you're right. not doing that that's shit. Right. That's and right. And you can't do it. Oh yeah. So there we are. That's facts. That's right. Let them know something. Girl. Thank you. Uh, 